Okay, this is for Danny FL, and hopefully he get to see it, Danny. Um, this is a blitz. Currently, we have the Emperor uh, 30 to 25 caliber in the front with the A35 fitting, original ones. Um, okay, the 9mm. Here is the extension I took off. So it was the extension and the Emperor. We have issues shooting full auto. So, as Donny sees this before, I'm just gonna rerun this fairly quick. I did it in two categories. There's a semi-auto, there's full auto, okay? And the factory front cap and the Donny's cap. Okay, I will show you the difference here first. So, for the barrel shrouds and the barrel cap, this is how you take it off. This is the 9mm original Donny's uh, cap. I won't fire full auto. Okay, there's a spring. So, okay, for the viewer who doesn't haven't seen this before, basically, this is a new prototype Donny Semi. Originally, um, the factory, I believe he sent me a couple of different fitments we're going to try. Um, originally, factory has a larger intake hole, and also, I sent my I sent Donny my original uh, factory cap, so he modeled after that one, and also the spring clicks into the hole. Look like he made exactly correct, okay. And the one he sent me was a smaller hole, I believe it was for the Emperor. And here's what happened in the factory cap, in the semi-auto, and Donny's uh, A35 cap with Emperor and with emperor and extension I did few things I have a spacer because you can tell the back is slightly different so I actually bought a spacer from Ace Hardware okay to match the factory spacing okay so that's what the first column is about, the subspacer. The second is you can tighten the weird spring. This is half turn to two turns. This is loosen the weird spring half to two turns. The way to loosen it up is to take the, this whole plastic piece off, which is fairly easy. There's only one bolt here, okay, uh, right in here. This whole thing slides off. And the back of this piece, there's a spring you can just tighten with your hand or with a, a Phillips driver and you can tighten it or loosen it, okay? Allow you to do a few turns, about two turns each maximum, okay? And I also oiled, I oiled the internal of the gun, and then I also had polished, okay? So no matter what options I'm doing, the gun fires in semi-auto, I will put this on the screen, you guys can read it. It will fire semi-auto and cycle. Semi-auto basically is one shot, one cycle, okay? We'll fire semi-auto in all the scenarios. But a full auto is a different story. Most of the time, you will not fire, okay? With a factory cap, no matter what setting, how I turn the weird spring or loosen it, there's no point for spacer because the factory cap is the, the factory setting. Um, it will fire full auto. Doesn't matter you oil it or you, or you polish the inside parts or not. It will fire full auto. Okay, it doesn't jam. I don't know why people jam, but it doesn't, does not jam. No matter how you mess with it, this gun will just fire full auto. But what it doesn't fire full auto is with a smaller opening in comparison. And I believe that's where it chokes the air. I think during 40 automatic, the air has to escape out the barrel. It's not really the spring. So in this, for example, um, I tighten it and loosen it. It does not fire full auto. Does not fire. Red means doesn't fire. The yellow is means to fire sometimes. And the only time fire sometimes is after I looped the internal and I tightened the weird spring for the cap alone. Okay, and that's the same story for adding the emperor and the extension. They both are exactly the same. Okay, but it will not fire. It only fires sometimes like two or three pellets. But it will not fire if it does not loop or polish the internal. 
Okay, so it will not fire full auto. Just a factory setup, changing the barrel cap, put on the Emperor. Okay, so what Donnie did for me is uh, we're testing this today. We just got this package today from the. It uh, looks like he mimicked the factory back instead of the hole. The gap one he sent me, he mimicked the factory one, which is great. Okay, and he also sent me one. It's identical to the smaller hole, but with the spring adjusted correctly. So the spring is, I instead use a spacer, the spring is adjusted correctly with the new bump up. Okay, which is fantastic. We can try this. So two options. He also sent me a new cap, a larger one, to go with a larger opening, which is, let's just call this as 9mm hole, 9mm, 14mm factory. So the original silencer comes with 9mm hole. So we're going to try the 9mm hole as an option, but with a factory spring, correct spacing. And we're also going to try with a, just changing out the end cap with a 14mm with a factory spacing and a factory hole to allow the air to escape. And I believe this will fire as a cap alone. The only difference is, is the front where it comes out. From it comes out, it is still a 9mm hole. So I'm not sure it will fire in full auto, but at least it will not choke at the barrel. It might choke in the end of here. But you also can tell there's a lot of holes right here. There's one hole in each one of these uh, silencer grooves. So that may make out the compensating differences of the hole. Okay, so we'll see if this fires and also there's holes here. Okay. And there's more volume in the extender. So let's go and do the testing. Uh, in this new chart, what I did is a 9mm, which is matched the fac factory spring, and a 14mm matched the fac factory spring, fired by itself, then fired with the Emperor, and then fired with Emperor and extension to see if it does full auto. There's no point to do um, semi auto because it fires in any setup. As for the spring wise, I'm gonna leave all factory exactly where the gun comes in. So in this case, I already looped the internal. I already polished the internal. I cannot go backwards back to the factory because I already looped it and polished it. So the test will be slightly off than your factory ones because I looped and polished. But the spring ray for the front and the rear will be factory. And we'll see if it fires for auto or it fires sometimes or doesn't fire or cycle. Okay? Doesn't fire or cycle, fires sometimes or fires for auto. Let's do a test right now. Okay, I think this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is the Donnie's A35 cap is a control. We know this doesn't fire. Okay, so we're going to start off with this. I went through 500 rounds of this gun on Premiere. You can, you guys can tell from my videos, other videos. Um, that was the result for the previous Excel sheet. So what I'm going to do is only going to fire about three rounds for each test. There's only six tests. Okay, so the first test we will do is I have this little thing in there so I can pry the pry the, um, the silencer away with a clamp, give me some spacing. So the first one is we're going to try with the smaller 9mm hole that goes with the previous silencer but the correct spring rate setting. Okay, let's do three rounds of this with no silencer at all, just the cap. Okay, this is just the 9mm hole fitting with the correct factory spacing for the spring and see if it fires. And zoom into the pellet. Full auto. Goes in. Nothing. Doesn't cycle. Doesn't even cycle. I have to see the bottom. Can zoom out a little bit. It doesn't even cycle. It's not full auto. Because it doesn't cycle. Okay, so we gotta pull back. <sighs> Try again. But full auto. Doesn't cycle. Doesn't 
doesn't cycle okay so and for sure I believe the the emperor won't cycle either so let's go ahead and add the emperor just by itself so I went ahead and add the emperor just by itself with the 9 millimeter hole in the front I believe once the barrel one is choked it won't cycle the rest of it even you add a silencer in but that's still for scientific I'm going to pull it back on the full auto does it cycle? doesn't cycle it fires one shot but does not cycle okay Let's do it again one shot doesn't cycle do it my, on my own doesn't cycle doesn't go full auto it does go semi if I switch to semi auto but it just doesn't cycle in full auto mode okay now let's go ahead and put the extensions on And this is with Emperor and the extension. 9mm. Correct spring rate. Uh, spacer. Spacing. With the a, with a extension. In the front. Extension. 6 inch extension. And the 10 inch Emperor. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. It with a fire. Okay, now the third one. Doesn't cycle. Nothing. Nothing. It fires, but doesn't cycle. You see? Okay. No. So, as for the correct spacing, we will say it's a big no for all three. Big no for all three. Doesn't matter if we add the silencer after the barrel cap. 9 millimeter cap, so we're going to try it with a bigger one with a 40 millimeter that matches the factory. So, with a large one, 14, it snaps right in. So, the correct spacing, see this, the correct spacing. Okay, and it's 40 millimeter. I'm gonna put that in. Okay, just the barrel cap by itself. Let's go ahead and try this with the correct spacing. We have about half clip left. So if it fires, it will empty the rest of the clip. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this single. Sh Held in there. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this new cartridge in. Okay. And let's zoom in to see if we empty the rest of the pellet with the 14 millimeter cap. Ready. Set. Try again. Ready, set, go. It's not really firing it. Oh, okay. Full auto. Ready, set, in the full auto situation. Go ahead and fire a semi just to be sure. Okay, semi works. Go full auto. I think it should fire full auto if it matches the factory cap, unless the spacing is slightly off. 
Try again. Follow. It fires. But then I'm empty the cartridge. Let me switch out a different cartridge. To see. Maybe it's the cartridge issue. Ready, set, go. Ready, set. It chokes out again. Not sure why. It's trying to fire. But it stopped. Without the factory cap, I cannot show exactly what is happening. So let's go ahead and change out and put a silencer on it. <laughs> so now we're going to try with a 40mm and a 40mm end cap. Okay, on the Emperor. See if it does have any sign of throttle. Doesn't cycle. There's not a sign of cycling. Try again. Well, it's like it's trying. Try again. Not sure what is happening, but it's not shooting. Semi. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the extension on. I can't really put the extension on because I don't have the cap for the extension for this fitment. I don't have that cap. Okay, so no cap. I think the experiment ends right here. Okay, this result is not what I was looking for. I had to double check. Um, but I believe the spring rate has gone back to exactly what it has. I'll open the gun up and check the spring rate again. I believe it was factory. I didn't adjust anymore. We'll see. So this is the result at the moment. There is no extension cap I can use. Fire sometimes, fire sometimes, not, well fire once, not cycling, okay? And we are going to try again after I check the spring rate in the back of here. I believe I didn't touch the spring rate, but I might have. Let's go ahead and try that. Open it up and take a look. So, with the gun off, this is the spring. You see this piece right there with a the two hole in it? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. You twist that in or twist that out. Uh, I guess I had it twist in two turns and maximum wear spring. So uh, the previous test was the, was invalid. Or I'll just extend the, the chart. I guess the real factory spring rate has not been tested. So we're going to do that right now with the spring readjusted. Back to factory. See there's a line right there. That hole lines up with the line and it's flush. That's factory spring right. Okay, just a 40 millimeter bolt uh, cap in the front and factory spring ready went back to factory. Let's do a simple test. Full auto. Click, click. Let's see what a fire full auto. Ready, set, go. It does fire for auto. Okay. Try again. Try again. Ready, set. Go. So one thing, one thing I noticed with the Hassan, right now it's at 200 bar. From 250 to 200 bar, it will fire for auto. So I have to charge it up back again. 
right now it's just below 200 bar i have a hard time to fire full auto as always so this is nothing to do with this thread let's try again just to see if it it does okay so it seems like it does fire full auto i need to charge up the the gun again back to semi single shot okay get rid of that charge let's charge up the gun again to 250 bar and redo the test well here's the next day this morning i wake up i pump with the air venturi nomad 2 bring back to 250 bar and the seal is leaking you hear this so i have to get another nip for this cap but right now let's do the test i can fix the seal later most likely allow the seal to break empty the air chamber then we can replace the seal we can replace the seal after now let's go ahead and uh test this so back to 250 bar clips in follow 250 bar 40 millimeter cap the new one just the fitting no silencer one two three go <sighs> killed it try again one two three go <clears throat> Two pallets. What is wrong with this? Okay, try again. Three pallets. Yesterday was fine. I'm not sure what the bullet is happening. Okay, we did empty it for so the whole round. Empty. Wait, you still got three more. But the fitting works. Just sometimes the gun is finicky. Try again. Emptied it. Okay, so the fitting works. We're gonna say it works. So the 14 by itself does full auto the cycle. And let's go ahead and try with a silencer on. Okay, now the Emperor silencer is on with no extension. Let's try the clip. Alright, see if I fire full auto. Ready, set, go. It fires three rounds with a silencer. Try again. One, two, three. It fired two rounds with a silencer. Keep going. It fires even more. One, two, three, four, five. So it fires three rounds. So three round burst. Okay. Try again. Single shot. Jamming up. Now just firing one round at a time. And it fired a few more rounds. Now I got three rounds left. See what dumped is three rounds. If I went round, single round, it's pretty promising. 
Go ahead and fill out with more pellets. Ready, set, go. I didn't want to. Ready, set, go. And it chokes off because of the smaller opening. Yeah, currently it's just single shots. It doesn't want to. I gotta move back to just semi auto. Not cycling. It's dropping. Okay, after I fixed the leak video, um, the air leak, the hissing air leak, it's all fixed now. I will upload a leak video for it. So this is the comparison between the factory bore hole versus the other one. Uh, for the 40mm end cap, match the factory. And it does try to do burst. I think I have an air pressure problem. But the Emperor's uh, end cap is... Not in cap, the, the silencer is, is 30 caliper. So I think if it goes to higher, like 40 to 50 caliper, it will work. But it does do burst. Like, remember we were doing like 3 to 5 burst shots? So I actually was happy with 3 to 5 burst. Um, instead, dump the whole load. Very interesting. So I don't mind to keep the cap. But I would like to get an end cap for the extension and um, and the current end cap for the Emperor. Let me, let me make this video and I'll talk to Donnie, see what he think. Overall, very promising on the Emperor for a factory um, Hassan Blitz to shoot full auto. Remove the end cap with that su suppressor on and we'll see. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. The factory end hole is this big. The suppressor in the end of it, even it's large in the back. The suppressor where it comes out, beside there's few holes around it, I think it's still cut on. So unless we get more holes throughout the, the pivots, well, throughout this, there's some holes here. They just need more air to come out of the front end, um, I think. Again, more air comes out, maybe louder it is, but should be allowed to get all the air pressure leave the barrel region or maybe the end of this there's some type of hole all along it here make sure I can no it doesn't do that interesting thanks for watching I just accidentally pushed this open looks like we can make this hole just by drilling it make it a little bigger um not sure what's happening here Oh look, this is the silencer piece. Yeah, that's all attached. So, 
Interesting. You can drill this a little bigger. That might work. It just might work. I could take the machine shop and get it machined it. I just don't want to break the... I'm not sure how this is attached. Like it's a one piece or something. Very cool. Very cool product. <laughs>